Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to be giving you my TBR for the book Tubathon. When I first heard about the book book Tubathon I was like, what is that? And then I learned it was five reading challenges, among other things, over seven days. And I thought, ooh, that sounds really good, let's give it a go. So here's my TBR for the book Tubathon. So book number one, which is read a book with yellow on the cover. So I'm going to read The Confessions of a Show Reporter by Holly Forrest. Holly Forrest is actually a pseudonym for a real life journalist and these are stories on, um, based on true stories. And it has yellow on the spine. So we're gonna use that one for that. And all, all but one of the books I haven't read. The second book is Read Something After Sunset. So for that I've picked Hex by uh, Thomas Old Huvelt, a Dutch writer. And on the back it says Hex is reminiscent of vintage Stephen King. And that's from John Connolly. So I help, oh, after, after sunset, something spooky. And I'm on late that week of the book Tubathon, so I don't finish work till 6pm. So by the time I've honed had dinner, done everything I've got to do, and I'm ready to start reading. It's going to be nearly dark anyway, so I thought, perfect, I can read that. It's great for me to be on that shift. Right, challenge number three is uh, read a book that you have discovered through Booktube. So I'm going to read Bodies of Water by W.H. Leslie. Now, I've seen this on Jen Campbell's channel and also on Mercy's Bookish Musings. So they've both read this, so it's my turn now. I do like the premise of this, but we'll have to see how it goes. Challenge number four, read a book by one of your favourite authors. This one could have been done for the first one as well because it's got yellow on it. And it's Peter James, Billionaire. This was originally published in 1983. This is a reissue. And yeah, sounds interesting. So basically it's about a city stockbroker who has expensive cars, a nice flat, lucrative jobs. But something happens. He gets a lot of, into debt and basically... In, in return for special services and silence, his debts can be written off. So it sounds quite interesting. A little bit different for Peter James. I don't think it's particularly um, spooky, but it's, not also, it's also not a grace story, so that should be interesting. The next book is Read a Book That Was published before you were born. So I've gone with Jack Kerouac on the Road. It was first published in 1957 and I've never actually read it. So I thought I'd give that one an out in. So I'm really looking forward to this one because I've wanted to read it for a while. So I can't wait. Number six is book to film adaptation. So for this, I have read the book before, but it was a long time ago. And I'm going to reread The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Look at this gorgeous cover. This is from the Penguin Thread series. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Inside. I'll show you that properly when I do my book haul because I only bought, bought this specially. Um, so yes, I will be watching the movie version of The Wizard of Oz, but I'm not going to watch the 1939 version with Judy Garland because I watched that not long ago on Blu-ray. I'm actually going to watch the silent 1925 version which features uh, Oliver Hardy as the Tin Man. So I've never seen that version. I have got it. I've had it for a while. So that is the film I'm going to watch with The Wizard of Oz, but see what it's like. And finally, read seven books is the seventh challenge. So if I can get through all of those, I have picked my seventh book, A Symphony of Echoes by Jodie Taylor, which is the second book in the Chronicles of St. Mary's. I'm actually really looking forward to this because oh, they go back to search for Jack the Ripper, which is another one of my little fascination things I collect books on Jack the Ripper. I've started to recently. So I'm really looking forward to, to read their take on it. So, But I'm only going to start that book once I've finished all the others. So I've got a big job in front of me. It's like 1,600 pages. But I'm really looking forward to having a go. It's going to be so much fun. So I've already been looking at other people's TBRs to see what they're doing. I can't wait to look at some more and to find out what other challenges are going to be up for the book Tubathon. So these books have been put to one side, ready for the first day, which is July the 18th. And until then, I'm just going to keep reading whatever I can. So that's it for me for now. I will probably be back soon with a possibly a book haul. Hmm, I've, got, I've had quite a lot. I've also had like 14 books this month and I, I got given a load for my birthday, so... I shall be doing a book haul fairly soon, so let me know what you're reading for the book -a Booktubeathon if you're doing it. And if you're not doing it, why not? It's a bit of fun. I work all day, 
five days a week and I'm having a go. So anybody can do it. It's just a matter of prioritising your time. So I will see you soon. Bye.